What's happening, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more Marie Fredrickson. I do apologize. I was obviously saying her name incorrectly for a few months' time, but I do have it framed now. Um, and we're going to continue through the uh, best CD, uh, which has a timeline from 1984 to 2000. So about a decade and a half of material. And we're going to listen to a tune uh, which is listed as featuring a guest vocalist, uh, Patrick Isaacson. Uh, and I looked it up on Google Translate, meaning this may or may not be a great translation of the phrase. But um, the phrase in Swedish apparently translates to what was now. Um, so yeah, it's an interesting phrase. Obviously, I won't be able to evaluate it as it relates to the lyrics in real time. I look forward to hearing you know, what people might say in the comments. Um, or reading, I should technically say. Um, but yeah, ultimately, you know, the phrase in English on the surface of it, you can take it a couple different ways, but the idea that whatever happened, whatever the essence of some encounter, some situation, some process, um, you know, someone seeking clarity, you know, what was now, or perhaps it's part of a larger sentence, you know, there will be nothing like that, again, what was now. Um, so yeah, I feel like it could relate to time and also change over time, uh, but again, I won't be able to evaluate it in the moment, so uh, once again, big shout out to Eric for sending this over, I really do appreciate it, and again, um, Jeebus from the uh, Roxette Reactions has made um, additional Marie uh, material available, available, so once we go through the, um, the Basta or Best compilation, uh, we will start going through uh, Marie's other stuff as well. So, in any case, let's listen to it. This is a track that translates to What Was Now. Um, it features a guest vocalist, um, Patrick Isaacson, and it's included on a compilation of Marie's best material from 1984 to 2000. <laughs>
there's like a, you know, true keyboard sort of running melody. But there's those flourishes at the end of the measure, which, I, like, it, it's an organ, right? I think it's like an electric organ. There was a moment where I was like, wait, is it just guitar? But I think it's an organ. Uh, either way, really cool tune. Shout out to Patrick Isaacson, really good voice and a good like blend uh, with Marie. And yeah, Marie just sounding fantastic. Again, like the the verses were giving me a vibe of Utada Hikaru, which you know I've done a few reactions to her. I really gotta get back to that. The last time I did it was like maybe four or five months ago, but I have reacted to a few of her tunes. Um, I discovered her through some J dramas where her tunes are included in the soundtrack. But yeah, it was giving me that vibe, which is kind of this jazzy, ambient, moody, pop sort of vibe, which that's kind of what the verses felt like. The chorus in this one felt a bit closer to like a rock set vibe. Like most of the tune felt different from a rock set track, but admittedly the chorus where the guitars came in a bit, um, and again, you know, it's not unusual to hear Pear and Marie um, together in a rock set chorus. The chorus felt more in that territory. But again, then there was that inter interlude where it was it was feeling very jazzy and some of the the sonic bits of the tune stood out more. Um, and then it sort of rolled back into that powerful chorus. So I enjoyed the composition. It felt like a longer track. I would say like five and a half minutes, maybe even six. Uh, and indeed, a little bit over six, like six and a half. So um, a lengthy tune. I did enjoy it. Um, like I said, shout out to not only Marie, but also to Patrick um, Isaacson, because I really thought he sounded good on that track. Um, and again, there's a bunch on here. There's like 17 tunes, I think, so a bunch more to go, and there's more Marie available after that. Uh, once again, shout out to Jeebus. Um, and yeah, just really looking forward to hearing more of her sound outside of Roxette um, as we continue through Roxette as well. So, in any case, let me know what you think of this one. Shout out to Eric once again. I really do appreciate it, and I will see you next time. Peace.